Hello and welcome to jeffmobile.com. Today we're making a stuffed green pepper casserole. First, I added some olive oil and I put the instant pot on saute mode on normal. Let's wait for that to heat up. Then I'm going to add my, once it's hot, I'm going to add my ground chicken. You can also use ground turkey for this recipe. Put that in the hot oil and we'll stir it up. And I will also add my chopped onion. I think you'll really enjoy this recipe. So give that a bit of a stir and let that cook for a few minutes until the meat is no longer as pink, but it doesn't have to be cooked completely. I'm also going to add some minced garlic. Minced garlic gives a very nice flavor as well. And once you add the garlic, you really only need to stir it up for another 30 seconds because you don't want to overcook the garlic. Next, the highlight of this meal, some bell peppers. So I have three different bell peppers, three different colors. You can use all green if you want, or you can add multiple colors. I like lots, so I put in three, but if you want a smaller portion, you can just use two bell peppers. I got a whole can of diced tomatoes with juices. I'm gonna add that in as well. Give that a bit of a stir. Mm, this is one of my favorite recipes. It's very healthy, has lots of variety of ingredients, very colorful, delicious for dinner or lunch. Next, I'm going to add about a half a can of tomato sauce. This can be regular pasta sauce or regular tomato sauce, can be flavored if you like with some herbs. I don't want to add the whole can because then it gets too much liquid, but maybe about half the can. I'm going to add one cup of chicken broth. You can also use beef broth if you prefer for additional complex flavors, but here we go. One cup of chicken broth and one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Gives it a lovely rich flavor. And I'll give that a bit of a stir on top just to mix in those flavors. Don't have to stir it all the way to the bottom. And then I'll add a bit of salt, so half a teaspoon or so, or a quarter teaspoon. And the next step is to add the rice. So I've got some uncooked long grain white rice. I'm going to add one cup of that. And the trick with this is you don't want to stir in the rice all the way to the bottom because if the rice touches the bottom of the pot when it's heating up to build pressure, it will get a burn message. So just gently stab the top of the rice to submerge it in the water, but don't do a complete stirring of the pot. We just want the rice to stay on the top layer of the pot ingredients. Just tap it gently with the spoon to make the water cover the rice, but don't, don't stir the pot completely. Because we really want to avoid the burn message, which is the number one concern. Uh, use a cloth to a dry cloth to wipe the top of the instant pot to make a better seal. And for your lid, make sure your silicone sealing ring is in place, as well as the sealing dial on top of the lid set to seal. I'm going to put this on the instant pot, close it up, and make sure that it is the sealing dial is set to seal. Now you want to set this on high pressure for four minutes of cook time. After cooking cycle is complete, we'll come back and check it out. So we let that do a natural release for 12 minutes and now we're going to finish with a quick pressure release. So I'll just uh, turn on the fan and release the pressure. But after 12 minutes, there really wasn't very much pressure left, which is fine. So we'll bring it over back here again and let's open up and see what it's like inside. But be careful of the steam, open it away from yourself so the steam doesn't hit you in the face. And we'll take that lid off. There we go. So there's the green pepper casserole with chicken. Before I stir it up, I'm going to add one bag of frozen spinach. These are spinach 
balls, but you can use any kind of spinach. You can also use fresh spinach if you want. You can wash and chop some spinach if you like. And I like to add quite a bit of frozen peas as well for additional flavor. I love the taste of frozen peas. And that frozen spinach will wilt and defrost right in the pot if you stir it in with the hot ingredients. So to mix in the ingredients, I'm first going to just submerge those peas and the spinach balls into the pot. And then I will give it a really nice stir to mix everything together. After we give it a bit of a stir, I will put the lid on and let it sit for about five minutes just to let the flavors combine. And then it's ready to serve after that point. You could put it in containers and store it overnight or for a few days as well in the fridge. But before you put it in the fridge, I recommend letting the rice cool a little bit to almost room temperature so it doesn't um, ruin the texture of the rice by putting it in when it's hot into the fridge. As you can see, this dish is very colorful. It is kid approved, another dish that our family loves to eat and our three-year-old son just loves this dish. He really enjoys it. I'm gonna put it on the lid and come back in about five minutes and we'll give it a taste test. All right, so time for a taste test. This is moment of truth here. It is such a lovely dish. As you can see there. Mm. This video was filmed in 180 VR, so very fun video. Mm. Mm, that's really good. I love the sweetness of the tomatoes. Peppers make a really good flavor. I love the spinach, the peas, onions and garlic. The rice is nice and soft. Very nice stew or casserole. Perfect. Mm. So there you go. If you watch this video in your virtual reality headset, you would see it in 3D. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos, please click the subscribe button below. Have a great day and bye-bye for now.